Good Friday morning. Dr. Todd Bell joins us. We're talking about West Nile. With all this rain we're having, we've got to talk about mosquitoes. Man, it, it's, you know, we're blessed with the rain over the past couple of weeks and, and hopefully be able to still get some more. Mm -hmm. The downside of the rain is that it does increase the area for mosquitoes to be able to breed. Every year we see an uptick in, in West Nile virus, which is a mosquito-borne illness. Uh, we usually see it in late August, early September. Uh, last year, if you may recall, there's a lot of disease activity mm -hmm. down around the Dallas area. We didn't have as much up here, but we're still at risk. And even though in the uh, Texas Panhandle there's not yet been a confirmed case in our area, uh, we anticipate that there will be within the next few weeks. A few things that we always talk with folks about mosquito-borne illnesses. Um, one of them is um, uh, that they need to try to avoid those dawn and dusk times to be out and about. If it's something that you can do either earlier or later when the mosquitoes aren't out there, that's going to decrease your risk of getting um, mm -hmm. bit. We like to tell folks about uh, dressing appropriately. So believe it or not, long sleeve shirts are going to actually be able to decrease some of those mosquito bites. Long pants are going to be able to, to decrease those mosquito bites. Using DEET is really important. That's a other D that we talk about. And with that DEET, basically what uh, it is, it's an insect repellent. We know that it's effective. In kids, we don't like to uh, use more than 30% DEET ever. Okay, and uh, it says even, that on the bottle. It does, it says it right there on the bottle. And even in adults, using more than 30% DEET doesn't seem to improve the efficacy of the hmm. insect repellent. So 30% is a nice number. Don't use insect repellents in kids under two months of age. That's kind of our cutoff of when not to use it. Okay. And we're trying to prevent um, those, those mosquito-borne illnesses like West Nile, which can cause fevers, lots of illness, and sometimes even death. And that standing, I've noticed with the rain, the standing water around my house, I just make sure I dump it all out. Absolutely, and I'm sorry, I'm glad you brought that up, because that's actually the other D that we talk about, is drain anything that's collecting water. Okay. So uh, we really see that in old uh, tires and flower pots, mm -hmm. things out in the yard. All right, Dr. Bell, thank you so much. Always good to see you. You bet.